Welcome to Diabet Tech. I'm Justin. I'm talking all things the Dexcom One Plus. I got to sit down with Dexcom to talk about their new CGM. It looks like a Dexcom G7, but it is not one. Uh, this is actually an upgraded version of their Dexcom One, which looks like a Dexcom G6. I got to ask them about where it's available, what features it has, what features it doesn't have. This sensor isn't for everyone. They designed it specifically to get it into the people's hands who aren't using closed loop. I'm here at ATTD in Florence, one of the biggest diabetes technology conferences, and I'm here to learn all there is about the diabetes technology that there is. <laughs> so I'm gonna be bringing you a lot of content, so make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click that bell for alerts so you don't miss a video when they come out. They're gonna be coming out pretty sporadically. Also, give this video a like if you enjoy it. After this interview with Dexcom, I also got to talk to them about direct to watch coming from G7, where the Dexcom G7 will speak directly to an Apple Watch. Got to ask him a few questions. That video, that information is on my Patreon. For less than a latte, you can gain access to that and it will also help support the channel. But don't ask for a latte in Italy because they'll give you a glass of milk. All right, here it is. All right, well, Jake, thank you so much for joining me today and, and coming on Diabet Tech to talk about Dexcom One Plus. It's a pleasure to be here. So. Can you first of all just explain what is Dexcom One Plus? Sure. Yeah, so uh, Dexcom One Plus is the latest version of our CGM, the Dexcom One uh, family of products, which are designed uh, basically for a very broad set of users. Um, it has alerts, alarms. Um, Dexcom One Plus is the latest version that includes now the G7 uh, form factor, so very easy to use. Uh, the most accurate sensor available. And we've also added features like share follow to Dexcom One Plus based on uh, user requests. So we are, all of our product development is based on feedback that we get from users. And that was one of the key enhancements that users asked, asked, uh, asked for. Um, we also included um, uh, optional calibrations. So customers can also calibrate that sensor um, where previous versions you couldn't. Are you discontinuing Dexcom One and just doing the Plus or are both gonna be available? Over time, um, we're transitioning all of our platforms to the G7 platform. So Dexcom One was, is originally built on the G6. So with Dexcom One Plus, we introduced the G7 platform and over time, uh, we'll start obsoleting the, the G6 version. Um, but for now, it's available in a number of countries still. Okay, and why was the Dexcom One software system built? It was built um, basically uh, as we looked at the landscape of users out there um, and their access to CGM, we saw that there's a large group who didn't have access to Dexcom CGM. G7 was available in the countries, but Dexcom 1 really comes in and fills this need of users that didn't have access to Dexcom technology, are not using AID, because uh, that's one of the key features for G7 and the connectivity component. So this is for a broad set of users that want the alerts and the alarms, they want the share follow uh, capability, they're not using AID, and so Dexcom 1 gives them the opportunity to use the most accurate sensor available. Okay, and when it comes to physicality, you kind of got into this, the differences between Dexcom 1 and 1 Plus, is it really just the, the, the change in sensor it's the G7 form factor is the biggest. Okay. Um, so you have the ease of use of the single uh, disposable, the applicator, um, all the improvements we made when we went from G6 to the G7 hardware platform. But it also comes with um, uh, connectivity uh, to Apple Watch. So the classic watch compatibility that we've had with G6 and G7 um, is now available also in Dexcom 1, the share follow. So it is an enhanced app along with uh, the new hardware. And so just, I think it was yesterday, Dexcom announced or the FDA announced that direct to watch will now become available over time. Mm -hmm. um, it's cleared yeah. for the G7. Is direct watch going to be a feature with Dexcom One Plus? We're always looking at the portfolio to see um, uh, what features make the most sense for each of the products. Initially, uh, though, we're very excited to um, launch direct to watch um, for the first time on the G7 platform. Uh, we're doing a phase rollout. So we're launching in the UK and Ireland um, here in, in the next month or so. And then um, we'll be out across the rest of the G7 countries um, throughout Q2. So it's very, very immediate, um, very exciting feature that users have asked for for a long time. And we've gotten to the point now where we're very comfortable with the Apple Watch platform being able to connect directly to our sensors, give users all the alerts and alarms they expect from their mobile phone, but now with the um, ease of just having all of that on your watch. Okay, and with, with the Dexcom One Plus's app, can you kind of just take us on a little guide through what that experience is like? kind of as it relates to the G7? 
Yeah, uh, of course. So um, Dexcom One is a very simple onboarding process. So as you open the app, uh, you log in um, and it walks you through the steps of how to use the CGM. And so with G7's ease of use and the application process being so simple, um, it really will help um, increase patient ease of use when they're first starting up a CGM for the very first time. Um, and then as you continue to use the product, it helps you set your alerts um, thresholds. And then immediately, the other exciting benefit of G7 is that, and now on Dexcom One Plus, is it's a 30 minute warm up. So you basically put the sensor on and within 30 minutes, you've got those glucose readings. Um, we hear from a lot of um, customers, both those that wear CGM and the uh, physicians that work with those customers, how nice it is to have CGM readings show up while they're still in the office. So you put it, someone puts on a CGM for the very first time, sometimes it's in a clinic, when they do that to have those readings before they leave really helps them understand um, what how the CGM works. And I know that you also have the Stello that mm -hmm. just got FDA cleared in the US, <laughs> which is 15 day wear. Mm -hmm. Why did Dexcom decide to come out with a new CGM that's only 10 day wear when it is possible, it has been seen in the same form factor mm -hmm. that it can be done in 15 days? Well, our, um, our intent is to bring 15 day survivability of the sensors across the whole platform. We're doing it in phases. Um, Stello is the very first step in that. Um, Stello, as you pointed out, does have an enhanced adhesive on it. We do plan to bring that adhesive to the G7 and X component platforms as well. It helps uh, with sensor adherence uh, to the skin over time. And so we will be bringing 15 day functionality to the portfolio over time. Stello is just where we started um, for the um, uh, type two users. Okay, and is there any difference? I get this all the time that people, everyone's skin is so different when it mm -hmm. comes to adhesives. Yeah. Is there any difference in the adhesive between Dexcom G7 and Dexcom 1 or, or are those gonna be the same? The, it's the same. We are okay. in the middle, as I mentioned though, of transitioning to a new, uh, better adhesive. Okay. Um, so that'll go across the whole platform, Stello, Dexcom 1 and G7, Dexcom okay. 1 Plus and G7. Okay, and you kind of got into this already, but help me better understand why someone with type one diabetes would use the Dexcom One Plus over the G7? Did you create it because some people just don't have access to G7 or like, is this a viable option for someone with type one? It's, it's a very viable option for someone with type one. Um, it was specifically designed for people who are not using AID and therefore didn't have access to Dexcom CGM. Um, and so it was, it was really in, in certain countries, the way um, access works is, uh, certain people um, who are at higher risk have access to AID technologies and needed the um, uh, urgent low soon type of alerts that G7 has. But there was other countries um, where they had no access to Dexcom CGM at all. And so bringing Dexcom 1 really helped um, allow them to have a, a, a choice in CGM sensor use. In a number of countries actually where we brought Dexcom 1, um, there was no CGM in existence available. Um, we had basically brought the, the, the CGM into the country and then immediately the benefit was seen by the payers and then they started actually providing access um, through coverage to that product, um, which wouldn't have happened if we hadn't brought the sensor there. Okay, and just to be clear, this the Dexcom one does not work on closed loop pumps? It does not. So it okay. doesn't have the connectivity, the Bluetooth connectivity built into it to be able to pair to a pump. Both Dexcom one and Dexcom one plus uh, are um, have that uh, limit on the functionality it does not connect to AID. So what is your plan for rollout of the OnePlus? Where is it? Where is it coming? So uh, we're, we're, our plan is to roll it out across Europe. Um, and so it's currently available in Spain and Poland and a number of other countries. Uh, but we plan to bring it rapidly across uh, all the, the portfolio of Dexcom One countries. We'll be upgrading to Dexcom One Plus. Okay. And it seems to me that this is a more European focused CGM. Um, it, is this ever coming to the U.S. or or does Stello kind of fill the role of the OnePlus in the U.S.? So um, at, we're always evaluating what's the right product for the users in, in each market and how does it fit with access policies um, and those user needs. Um, so at this point in time, Dexcom G7 has fantastic coverage for in, all insulin users. Um, and in the small pockets where there isn't um, coverage, we're working very hard to get that. So at this point in time, we feel G7 is the right product for insulin users uh, in the US. And so at this point in time, Dexcom 1's not needed. Stello is really for a whole other population. Basically, the rest of, of people that have diabetes that aren't treating with insulin, 25 million people, that's what Stello is for. So now with bringing Stello into the portfolio, we have a product for everyone who has diabetes, whether they're on insulin, 
or not, there's a Dexcom CGM that will be available for them. Are you looking into bringing Stello to other areas outside the US? Yes, uh, that's something we're evaluating too because um, there's many people around the globe um, that could benefit from that type of a product. Um, you know, CGM, uh, the Dexcom G7, there's a lot of functionality built in about keeping people safe from hypoglycemia. That's not the same challenge that the, the population that would use Stello uh, is for. Same with uh, Dexcom 1 with the alerts and alarms. It's around um, keeping people safe from hypoglycemia and helping them better manage their diabetes. So Stello um, will definitely have a place uh, globally uh, for that population that could benefit. Great. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about Stello, we spoke at CES, I think like a couple, a couple months ago, uh, and I'll throw that link down in the description. Jake, thank you so much for this, this talk. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Now, what do you think about the Dexcom One Plus? Are you using it? It's already out. Do people have it on their arms? If you do, let us know in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. Also, I've got so much more content coming from ATTD, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell for alerts. And if you want to get that inside scoop about Dexcom G7 direct to Apple Watch, that is on my Patreon right now, so go check it out. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.